what's up guys it's back here with bass in indiana this is my dude nick we got michael and we're gonna be doing the rod and reel review and at the end of the video we're gonna do a little unboxing here we go all right first up um we both got an abu, abu garcia um baitcaster mine is a six four to one ratio and his is a six four to one ratio yes He's got he's got silver max. I've got black max. The difference is his is a newer model, mine's the older one. But I don't really care. I like it either way. And uh, right now I have I think um, twelve pound tri line on mine. I've got twelve pound monofloat. What this button does right here, if you have it on, it doesn't lock down. But if you have it off, it locks, so you can cast it. Yep. Yeah, I like the colors of mine though. It's like a black, silver, and red. I don't know. I just really like the colors of it. His is cool too, but I know I like the how it's got a red handle. And then, like I said, I've got this 12 pound line on there. Um, these are great beginner reels for like if you're starting out bait casting. Like we're not beginners, but um, we just love them. And we'll leave the link down below where well, you can got, buy these. We've got two more bait casters ourselves out, but they're outside in the barn. It's too cold to go get them. We're just doing one over these Abu Garcia Black Max Silver Max because they were inside, and we don't really use them anymore. But we like like when we're throwing jigs and stuff. That's what we use. But crankbaits and everything else, we use uh, our other lines out there, our other reels out there. And we'll leave the link down below where you can get these. And yep. All right, guys. Here's the. Black Max Next Generation. It's a 6'6 six, six medium heavy rod, but as you can tell, it's not six foot six inches because I dropped it on the rocks <laughs> and it broke. So I'm missing about a foot. It's only like five foot six inches right now. And I mean, it still works. They're really good rods. I'm going to go return it as soon as I can, though. But I'm getting a new one. But like I said, these are really good rods. I like the medium heavy and. 6'6", six, six, probably my favorite length, but I like the handle on it. Look at it. There's a really cool texture on that part right there. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but it's, I mean, I love the way it fits in your hand with the rod on there. And here's, here's what it looks like on the, if, on the rod. All right. And that's it for the rods. Now for the reels. unboxing. Unboxing. Right. It's worth, and um, this one might got. All right, so... If you guys watched our first video, the unboxing, you'll see that I did a little review over these Red Shell, Red Shad 6 inch worms. And they're from Zoom Bait Company, as you can see right there. But these are my favorite salt baits, absolute favorite. I mean, they're really good. And uh, I, th I think bass like them more in the summer than anything. But I Texas rigged these bad boys and. I just got a pack of 12 of these, like I said, 6 inch, red shad color, Zoom Bait Company, and then I got this Storm Smash Shad Rattling Flow, but it's a deep diver crankbait and it goes 6 to 12 feet, right here, that's what it looks like, got a big old lip on it, now you can't see with the clear angle on, there you go. I like the rattle in it. Super. Alright, we again we got this for twenty five dollars on it, um, Amazon. Those are like seven eight dollar lures a piece, so that's a good deal. Twenty five bucks for all of them. But hey, there's another video, Bass in Indiana. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Bass in Indiana. Thanks for watching. Do you feel the